9.45 on this Saturday morning, Liven Glavin. I kind of feel like Professor Flink here. It's time to imagine it with Carl Nelson. He's the chief scientist from the Imagination Station. What are we cooking up here? We're going to talk about some interesting chemistry. All right. Okay. Acid base indicators. Right. All right. Those are compounds that can change color based upon the acidity or alkalinity of the solution they're in. You brought these up before. Yeah. It's really cool stuff. Think about those test strips you put in your aquarium or your pool. The litmus. The litmus kind of stuff, right? Sure. Acid base indicators. And so in this beaker, I've added an acid base indicator, thymolthalein, that when poured into this container, which has a little bit of sodium hydroxide at the bottom, watch what happens. Pour it in, we get that, we go from clear to that beautiful blue color. Wow, okay. it's a magic trick. <clears throat> and magicians would utilize this kind of chemistry to do that sort of water to wine trick. Ah, yeah. Okay. Now, your beaker on the far left okay. has a different indicator, and why don't you go put it into your beaker Got as well. It. Now both of these <clears throat> indicate for an alkaline condition. Wow. Okay? And so they go from clear to colorful to show that we've switched more alkaline. Now the cool thing is we can switch it back. It doesn't have to stay that color. In this big beaker I've added some uh, hydrochloric acid. Okay? okay. So if we pour the, the colored, <laughs> yes, we'll be careful here. So if we pour the liquids back in, you can pour yours in as well. And wow. both colors go in but they change back to that clear, indicating we've moved away from being an alkaline or basic sort of solution, okay? <clears throat> now, cool application of this, I don't know if you remember this, but Hollywood hair Barbie. Okay. <laughs> right? It was a Barbie doll that had hair <laughs> coated with an indicator, and you'd spritz some stuff on it, and it would go from blue to red well, to blonde. Oh, well, Tina, she loved you're that one. speaking Tina's language. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite, however, was the thing you got out the back of the comic book called Disappearing Ink. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and I've actually mixed up some Disappearing Ink here from these two kinds of indicators. Okay. And that's, you know, sure. that's, that's the reason why you have Thanks. the lab coat on here. Thanks, Marvin Maroon. And the nice <laughs> thing about the uh, Disappearing Ink is that you don't need to spray any other compound on it. I mean, we can really load you up here with a couple Terrific. colors. Great. <coughs> what Guns happens blazing, is... blazing, both fingers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> carbon dioxide gas in the air is dissolving into that liquid, into the water, and it's going to neutralize those colors over time. That's where the gag comes from, right? It's like, right. I squirt you up, and then eventually oh, no. it disappears. It's going to take about five minutes. Oh, all right. And we probably don't have time to, do, to wait five minutes. Sure. We want to see it change quickly. Yeah. That's why I brought with me the concentrated source oh, of no. carbon dioxide. <laughs> And as we blast you with that yeah. gas, you can see it's, it's, we're building up some uh, dry ice on there as well, but the colors are fading pretty Okay, so I, no, I wouldn't try this at home, right? So that, that goes without saying, but check that out. The colors are fading away. Um, how you feel? That's great, well, I'm it's, cold. It's a little cold. Yeah. So again, so but I'm just, ready. I'm ready for the dinner party. You're ready now. <laughs> so just some fun stuff you can do with acid-base indicators, and you can even mix up your own at home by grinding up some red cabbage, and do a similar sort of thing oh with boy. red cabbage juice. Now I'm guessing you have this on your website. We do. Check out the website. We got all the information there about um, the red cabbage juice indicators and some other stuff you can do as well. All right. If you want to see Carl blast you in person, you can do so at the Imagination Station as well. Take a look at the times on your screen here very quickly. They're at One Discovery Way. Open today from noon until 5, or 10 until 5, so you're already just about ready to open. 10 until 5. we got to clean you up a little bit. Oh, okay. man, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful when you invite this guy to your house. That is this week's Imagine It. We're going to turn it over to Dave with sports.